To organize my days, I use Emacs's org mode, a file format, a rich markup format that you can use to organize tasks in trees, like you can see here. So you should watch our org mode tutorial for more information on that. The good thing about that is that the tasks sync with my phone if I need to check my time schedule on the go. And you also have an agenda feature like that where you can watch the current day, you can move to different days. I just schedule one day at a time. Sometimes I will schedule a bit of the following day or mark appointments in advance, but that's about it. I don't try to go too far. So my morning routine starts with scheduling the day with a cup of coffee. I try to follow a ritual with that. One thing I want to note about productivity is how I schedule the time I can access the internet. And the rest of the time, if you go check, I'm in airplane mode and it's the same on my phone. Then so the way it works is you use these timestamps that are written in the file. In org mode, everything is written as text, but you have shortcuts to assign them to add these time frames. And you can write anything you want in the notes. You can organize yourself however you'd like. A little tip about that, because when I make my daily tasks, they might not be ordered the same way they are in my agenda. Let's say, for example, I have them uh, like so, like the olive tutorial is what I'm going to do next. And I want the order of the tasks to be the same as the order they are in the agenda. So they will be sorted by time. To do that, you can select the tasks. So you could select inside that element here. You do, uh, for example, V inside the R for the element. So it's going to select all the subtree. And you can do uh, comma S for uh, subtrees. And then you have capital S to sort and T to sort by time. It's going to sort everything by time. Because I have the notes and the routine here that don't have timestamps, they tend to get messed up a little bit. I'll have to move them to another subtree. All the tasks have been sorted by time. And this shows me that uh, I made a mistake here. I have to move this one to the end of the day, probably. So I'm going to move it to full. Not all of my day is full. And one thing I'd like to note is that Timetable is not absolutely set in stone. So right now, for example, it's the time for the Olive tutorial, but I'm recording this video. And schedules are nice, but the reality is a bit messier. I might get some messages that are check around uh, 11, something like that. From my teammates, uh, people who need review, I might have questions or clients who need support, those kinds of things. So I can shift the time in my agenda. And to do that from the agenda, you can take any task, let's say this one, and do comma D for date and time and S to reschedule. From there, at the bottom of the screen, you can see how I can edit my task with text. So you can write the starting time, let's say I want to reschedule to three, and then say it will last one hour plus one in this case. But you could do plus 130, like so, and you will see the resulting dates on the right. That's the tool I use in a nutshell. Last thing I want to show is the clocks, the clocking system. Uh, if I go delete the dash, I think I can uh, clock like that. So I can clock in and out of given tasks from here or from the agenda. It also works on the agenda view and I can then track the time I spend on given tasks. I don't really care about the time as much as comparing my estimates for how long a certain task is going to work, is going to take, and the time I spent on it. So there's a property you can use called effort that I can set if I use the column mode. I have it on the column before last. I can set the effort so that's a time estimate. I can say, I think it's going to take one hour, for example. And so then I'm going to clock in. 
So I can quit the column view. It's a, a contextual spreadsheet mode that you can use to edit your values in org mode. And I can clock in with comma, capital C and I, major mode shortcut, clock in and get started at this point and see how much time it takes compared to my effort property. So when I, I've clocked out, the time it's taken will show in this this column here. And I can add some more information to that table, but there you go.